Hello everybody, West Country Explorer here and today as you can see behind me a bit of an abandoned property it's an old abandoned farm and I've just been having a little look around taking a few photos already of like the main building and I'm going to take you on a little tour just to show you what's here so guys come and join me on this little tour hope you enjoy here we are out the, the front of the farmhouse as you can see it's a all overgrown so it's been abandoned for quite a while now, i don't know a massive amount about this place but i know some little bits and pieces here we are coming through the main entrance got quite a nice little fireplace here Couple of little teddies still, little smurf. Now I know at one point this farm was owned by an estate and it was run by tenant farmers. I'm going to show you this. This is in a really impressive fireplace. Just look, have a look at that. Oh, that's the front door blowing closed in the wind. I'm not sure what that would have been used for, that little nook. But yeah, like I said, this was, I know at one, certainly at one point, this was owned by an estate and run by tenant farmers. And in, I did see uh, back in 1989, there was some kind of legal issue going on, some, something to do with food contamination. So, I don't know the full ins and outs of what was going on with that, because I couldn't really find much info, just that there was some kind of a food contamination issue. Right, so this is the downstairs, but look at look at that wall at the back. So I think this farm has been built a bit into a slope. There is the back door. See over there some farm building. I'm going to go over there later. And there was a back in 1990. There was another bit of a legal issue going on because the tenant farmer he was getting on a bit in age at this point, and he wanted one of his sons to take over I don't know if there would have been maybe a I'm not sure where there's that bit of a slope there I'm not sure what that's about uh, you can see the exposed brickwork there that's quite a nice little feature If I twizzle you around, you see a bit of the exposed brickwork there as well, just below the window. That's quite a nice little feature. Yeah, so the tenant farmer, he wanted his son to take over, but the tenancy agreement thing between the farmer and the estate wouldn't allow it. Uh, I, the document that I found online, I could only read part of it, I couldn't access all of it. I could only write, read the first part. It's a bit of an old fashioned bathtub. Uh, you can tell, see this, oh, you can see this place is really falling apart, this farm 
nice. And at the back, the top floor is more in line with the ground level at the back there, as you can see. Yeah, so I could only read sort of the first part of the legal document, and it was very much legal jargon, so it was a, I found it a bit hard to follow, because obviously I'm not in the legal profession and never really read legal sort of jargon and that. So I'm not sure what the outcome was and all the rest or anything. But like I said, yeah, the farmer wanted his son to take over the tenancy, but they couldn't quite do it because of the agreement and all that kind of stuff. And it's lovely views out the back, isn't it? Lovely views as well. Now, I don't know if it is still owned by the estate that owned it sort of way back in the sort of 80s, 90s and that. But the people who currently own it, they are putting a planning application to, they want to sort of bring it, tear the farm down and have sort of houses built here. But two applications they've put in have been rejected. That was a couple of years ago. Uh, it looks like something boarded up. Maybe there's a fireplace here as well. I'd, I'd say that's a, yeah, that was an old fireplace that's been boarded up. Oops. Well, there would have been a wall going across there, but I can get through it now. Oops. If I come across here. Uh, that was the doorway into this room. Got some little trinkets down here still. I'll turn that around. Some bits of makeup and that. Very random. Yeah, you can see up into the ceiling there, into the roof space. If I slowly pan you around. As you can see, there was at one point steps up to the roof space. If I come in here a bit. Steps no more. There's no more steps. But... Can't get up into the roof space. Not that I'd want to, because there's nothing to stand on, the no floor anymore. Yeah, so I'm not, not sure what's gonna happen with this place. I mean, what I would, what I personally think would be quite nice is if this could, this building could be completely renovated, brought back up to scratch, and brought back to life as a farm. Right, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to start taking you out to some of the outbuildings now. Right, I'm out the front again. I'm going to bring you into here. Quite a nice little feature this. Ooh, oops. A bit dark in there you go. But we're, this place is quite close to a relatively busy road. 
else? I mean, building a few houses here, they'd have to make access pretty safe and secure. Oh, this, I'm squeezing in under the door. Hang on a minute. There we go, guys. There we go. Uh, this would have been for cattle at one point. I guess cattle, well, far, farm animals of some kind. I'm guessing cattle. There's a ladder still there. That's quite a decent sized ladder. We've still got the light hanging down from there. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Uh. Right there. Squeeze out from under it. Into here. This is a decent old size, isn't it? Just around the uh, outbuildings now. You can see they've definitely seen better days. But, I mean, it's lovely countryside around here. I, if I was into farming, if I was a farmer. This is definitely somewhere I'd like to be as a farmer, this general area. Uh, there's been some sofas abandoned here. So if you want to come somewhere remote and just chill out you can <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of wood here that it looks like it hasn't been here all that long so That still, that looks relatively, sort of, reasonably fresh to me, so. So it makes me think there's still some kind of activity maybe going on here, some, like, just being used like storage and that. I mean, something needs to be done with this area. Needs to... They either need to renovate the whole place, bring it back to life as a farm, or do something with it, you know. Ooh, nice bit of graffiti in here. That is, that is good, I like that. That is the kind of graffiti I enjoy. Definitely for cattle, this, this shed. I've just had the weirdest feeling, guys. I've just taken a photo of the graffiti in the barn and I was just about to turn back, turn around to look at the farmhouse when I got this really overpowering feeling that there was an oldish person an oldish gentleman 
standing at the bathroom window. That window just there. And I just got this feeling that there's this sort of old but like a, a really sad ghost standing at the window. Well go I say ghost, but I just got the feeling that it was like a former occupant and someone who lived here in the past and he was just standing there feeling really sad. And I just felt as though he was half looking at me. <laughs> I know that sounds really mad and like strange, but I just got that over overwhelming feeling that there was somebody there standing at the window and it's kind of un it's unnerved me a little bit because I don't I don't tend to get feelings like that oh I don't want to go back in that place now not I don't feel this I haven't felt threatened or anything the feeling didn't make me feel like you know I'm in danger or anything but it just you know, it's just unnerved me a bit Just going to do a little pan round of 360. Let's just show off a bit of the general area. But yeah guys, I, I've had that feeling that there was somebody in there. So, I don't feel as though they intend me any harm or anything, and I certainly don't intend them any harm. So I think I'm going to call it a day guys. So there you go guys, uh, another farm that's fallen into disuse, no longer operational. I don't think there's much money nowadays for small independent farms. I think there's only really money if you're a big agribusiness. I don't know. It's a sad state of affairs. I'd like to see sort of British farming sort of get back up and running a bit more. It does seem to be on its knees a little bit. That's the impression I get. It might be the wrong impression. But anyway. Uh, just a little walk around the abandoned farmhouse and buildings hope you guys have enjoyed it it's yeah it's been an interesting one there's some nice features there got a bit of a strange feeling towards the end but hey ho so now i'm off somewhere else to do another video so it's going to be a two video day today you lucky people Anyway, on that happy note, I'm going to bring this video to an end. Hope you've enjoyed. And yeah, keep your eyes open for the next one. And in the meantime, the usual, stay safe, take care, and God bless.